Ah, uh, yeah. I got my oil. I got my gear. I got my gator. And I got my girl. Oh, yeah. Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Dan H., and welcome to the project. You are? Evelyn. That's E-H, and we are going to do the first oil change on this Jeep Commander, a.k.a. Gator. Uh, this is also going to be Evelyn's first oil change. So we're going to go through step by step, show you guys how to change the oil on a Jeep Commander. So here we go. Let's look at the stuff we're going to need to change the oil. All right, I'm going to use some ramps. I want to get the vehicle high enough so I can reach under there and let the oil out. I want new oil to put back in. We're going to go with Pennzoil Ultra Platinum Full Synthetic. My vehicle requires 5W20. So we got two gallons of this stuff. Also have an oil filter. I'm going to go with KNN PS2010 for my 5.7 Hemi. I usually go with Mopar, but they didn't have them in stock, and I think KNN's a good brand, so I went with that. Also going to want a place to put the old oil. I got a big empty jug. I got some funnels to help put the oil in. I got a mat to lay on, and of course my other ramp. <laughs> Obviously going to need your vehicle, and yeah, let's just get started. Does anybody know the most important thing about engine maintenance? change the oil yeah that's right what is the most important thing about oil that it's clean and it's in the engine that it's clean and it's in the engine yes that is a, that is an excellent point that it's in the engine so let's go start with step number one we're going to pop the hood and we're going to open up the oil cap you know how to do it yep. <laughs> look at that she's good p to e oh, there you go all right. Yes, but I don't think I can. Yeah, that's that's hard to get off. So that is important. We don't want to drain the oil until we get that sucker off. We got to make sure we could put oil back in it. I'd rather have dirty oil than no oil. So I'm going to grab a tool because this is probably... Oh, there, there we go. Hey, man strength. All right, keep going, honey. This way? Yeah. Uh, lefty Lucy, righty tighty. Got to make sure you get that cap off, guys. That is the most important part. Yay! Okay. Very important. All right, let's get this Jeep safely on the ramp. <coughs> All right, we got the Jeep on the ramps. We also put a nice block in there. We don't want this thing rolling back. We also have the e-brake on. Safety is the name of the game, especially if you have precious little helpers. So we're going to go pop the hood again. It's actually already popped. Just the safety latches down, and here we go. Now we have access to the oil. So, next thing we're gonna do is go in and drain the oil. Under the commander, on the passenger side, is the oil pan with the little oil port. That is a 13 millimeter, and we're gonna get to it perfectly with this little, let's say a half inch drive. A 13 millimeter deep dish. There we go. That fits on there nice and snug, just like this. All right, let's set up my helper. All right, Evie Gee, if we take that oil plug out, what's going to happen? Oil's coming out? Yes. Where's the oil going to go? Um, in there. Yeah, in there. We want to get it in here, not on your face. So, what we're going to do is here, bring that back real quick. Oh, yep, there you go. We gotta make sure that the cap is screwed on tight. We got the port opened up. Right here, we'll set this aside. I said, we'll set this aside. Ooh, yucky. And we gotta cap off this, uncap this, fill the air out. Oil in, air out, that's the idea. All right, crack loose that plug. Lefty loosey, righty tighty. This way? That is the other way. Now you have to pull down on it. Can you get it? It's tough. <laughs> All right, we're gonna crack this loose for my lovely assistant. And one thing to note, guys, if you run this thing, it's gonna be hot. You wanna give it time to cool. We just ran this thing for a little bit, moving it up the ramps, and it's been sitting for a week, so we haven't gotten this thing hot. But if you do, just be mindful. 
you have a catalytic converter there that gets hot and uh, we don't want to do a hot oil change unless you're doing a hot flush but we just want to do a regular cold oil change so we're gonna crack this baby loose and I'll let my lovely assistant take over here yep uh, is that where it yep you feel it yep. all right so lefty loosey righty tighty as you turn it it's gonna start to seep a little bit of oil out if you feel like the plug is coming out make sure you keep pushing it in and then once all the threads are released then you could pull out the cap and let all the oil drain out into the pan what does it look like daddy it looks like chocolate syrup Ew! <laughs> I hope Danny doesn't eat it. Oh! Yeah! Perfect job. You got oil in there. I told you. You don't want the mat there. All right. Let it all drip out and take off your glove over the pan. There you go. Don't go into the stream. Don't go into the stream. All right. Throw that dirty glove right in the oil pan. There you go. Now you can back out. Go grab some of those rags. Not a bad job. Hey, Mayor. Remember you sang Twinkle Twinkle Little Star when I was doing XJ oil? I did? Yep. Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, how I wonder what you are. Hop a bubble worn so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, how I wonder what you are. And that was beautiful. And that's how old you are now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're back. She's all emptied out. Just wiping down the oil cap. Ready to put her back in? Yep. All right, careful not to cross thread it. You know what that means? No. That means getting your threads crossed. Mm. <laughs> you wanna make sure they're nice and even. Let's see if we can get it up there. If you guys are looking for drain plug options, now is the time to put in a Fumoto valve. What's a Fumoto valve? This is a Fumoto valve. This just screws in. And you could open up your oil with this little 90 degree turny thing. Oil will come out. Yeah, funny girl. Oil will come out here and you can siphon it into a container with a little hose. This does not fit the commander. Unfortunately, I'll go harvest a Fumoto valve for my old commander on the next oil change. You guys aren't really helping. Neither are these gloves. <laughs> I'll get my hands dirty then work with gloves on. I mean, me too, Evie, me too. But I can't let you get dirty. Mommy's gonna yell at me. It's like you got it. I need a tool to tighten it. Exactly. Daddy. 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 What, honey? I'm gonna make sure you get it nice and even on there so you don't strip the bolt. There you go. Not too tight, but not too loose. Get it just right. Probably loose. about 23 foot pounds. We're good. All right, once the drain plug is back in, we're going to get to this oil filter right here. Let's take off the oil filter. We're going to turn this baby counterclockwise. That oil is going to slide out down here, hopefully into this bucket. But first, we got to reach up in here. If you put your hips by the front tire, you can reach up here with your right hand, with your strong hand, and twist. There we go. Whew, that's hard to do. All right, I'll let my little helper take over from there. I'll see if she can get this out without making a mess. Can you reach that? No, not really. Oh, I got it. I got it. I'm scared. I'm scared. It's okay. You can do it. It's not hot. I know. Turn the whole thing counterclockwise. I don't want my Means it makes the t dirty. Yeah, you're getting dirty. It's okay. gonna happen. Oh, starting to leak. You're getting it. Okay. Keep going. Keep going. There it goes. Look, it's going down the pan. Okay, so it's going down the pan and it's going right into the back of the drain. It's actually going right down the hole. That's pretty cool. Keep going. You're doing great. Is it done? When it falls off, it's done. Oh. Be ready to catch it. Got it, I got it. Got it. Okay, bring it down gently, and you can put it right into the oil pan. It's slippery. Oh, yeah, it's very slippery. Oh. It's stuck. It's heavy. Yeah, it's full of oil. Bring it down. You got it down with two hands. There you go, two hands. Oh! oh. <laughs> 
<laughs> okay. Okay, push it to me. Push it to me. There you go. You keep keep the open end up. And then we can dump it right up there. Let me see. What's the damage? Yeah. Let me see the shirt you're wearing. Let me see that shirt. Breaks our privilege, not a right, by D and E in the garage and Project Dan H. Gotta train them up young so they know the right thing when they get older, right Evie? Yes. That's right, that's biblical, baby. All right, looks like oil's still dripping out a little bit. So I'm gonna take my new K&N oil filter. I'm gonna wrap it. Is there oil in it? There's no oil oh. in it. It is completely dry, but we don't wanna install it dry. We got this little gasket right here. This is a rubber gasket. This okay. seals the oil filter onto the engine. We want to make sure that the old gasket came off. There we go, because if we double up the gaskets, sometimes these do come off. They stick, they stick to the block. And if there's two gaskets, it'll leak. So that's good, that's on there. We're gonna take some old oil, just a little bit. We're gonna rub some old oil right on this gasket. So it kinda makes a nice little lube. It'll help the oil filter go on a little better It'll give us an extra little bit of tightening and lubrication Ooh, you just don't slap me there you go that's better there you go lube this up a little bit it'll go on easier and uh, a little tighter not too tight we're just gonna hand tighten it but you ready to put this back in yep. hard to get on um, we're gonna go clockwise yep. can you get up there Clockwise, you said? Yeah, clockwise. So, in this, so this way or this way? Yep, clockwise. You want to make? Way. We're gonna make the top go to Terry's house. <laughs> Look at the concentration. Okay. It's tight. Yep. All right. I'm gonna just double check. I'm gonna want to make sure it's nice and hand tight. Don't want to fall it off, but I gotta make sure I could hand loosen it in about five thousand miles. <laughs> there we go, that should do it. All right, we are done installing the filter and the drain plug. Wipe up some more of these drips. Let me get my flashlight out of here. That's another thing it might need. Flashlight, got this at Walmart. <laughs> and we'll drag this baby out. Ooh, look at that mess, nice. All right, time to fill her up. We're gonna be using the Pennzoil Ultra Platinum Full Synthetic 5W20. And we're going to do about six quarts. Now this is 1.25 gallons. This is about a five quart jug. Let's see if it has it right here. Yeah, all right, four and a half. So what we're going to do is use almost one and a half of these jugs. And I got everything on Amazon, as you can tell from the seal. I will leave a link in the description to all the products I use if you want to Get yourself some of this stuff. I'll, uh, you know what? I'll just do it. You can guide it in. We're gonna just glug, glug, glug this whole thing. It's leaking. Oh, yeah. Nice and easy. Can you do it now? Are you strong? Careful. Oh, too much, too much. Let it simmer down. Nice and easy. Let's wipe this up. What? So what we're gonna do now is just let it sit up there upside down. We'll let every last drop drain out. There we go. We could let that sit while we open up the next one. All right, now this one we have to be careful because we only wanna do, yeah. We only wanna do like two quarts to start. So let's bring it down to about three and a half, then we could always check the oil, all right? There you go, what a good helper. Stop and check, level surface. We could do a little more. How do you know the level surface? Because I have a good eye. That is the engine drinking. There. That should be good for now, honey. What do you say? 
I say it's good too. Good job. Oil is in. Always gotta keep your workplace clean. <laughs> there you go. That's the Dan H spirit. She's definitely an H. Oh, still dripping. You know what you could do? Wrap it up in paper towel. No, you could plug it up. Oh, plug it. Plug it in the bottom. Shove this down to the bottom. Plug it up and just let all the oil drip down. Here you go. Thanks. Oh, look at that. You're already hand tightening. Yeah? You think you're done? Yep. All right. Let's, uh, let's check the dipstick. Where is the dipstick? Where is the dipstick? Right there. Can you see that? Yeah. Pull that up. All the way out. Good. Pull it all the way up. I can't. That's it. It's heavy. Oh, it's big. Okay, pull it out. What the? Yeah. Whoa. Wipe it off. Hold it like this. Now, <laughs> there you go. Oh, it hit my back. Easy. Now put it back in. This thing's a curly guy. Put it back in. Are we done? No. Oh. You didn't check anything yet. You just cleaned it off. Now you could check it. So what you're going to do is hold it right there. And we're going to look at the bottom. And we're going to see how full it is. See right there? The oil goes right up to where it says safe. Yes. That is how you know you have enough oil in it. Is it safe? Yep, it's safe. We did it. All right. Good job, Evie. High five. Let's put it back in. Put it back in. <laughs> Evie Gee, yes. doing an oil change. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> you ready? Yep. Clean up. Yep. All right. Good job. <laughs> Good job. We have one more step. Do you know what that is? What? We gotta reset the oil clock. You also might want some shop towels and some super clean, speedy, dry cleaning stuff, aka cat litter. Get up that <laughs> junk. Yeah. Cat litter. Come on. All right, if you have an oil clock, now's the time to reset it. And the commander, I do believe if you put it in the run position and stomp on the gas three times within 10 seconds, it resets the oil clock. I have a video on that somewhere. I'll leave a link in the description along with a link to the product so you guys can check out that video. Come on, in, let's go for a little ride. And here we go. Go pull out that rock that's blocking the tire. Okay. Chuck. <laughs> Chuck it. <laughs> Nice, jump in with me. All right. Start it up. Put the e-brake down, drop it in reverse. Coming down off the ramps. Hey, I have Boink. a question. What's a question? Um, why do you need the oil in the engine? The oil lubricates the engine. What does lubricate mean? It keeps the metal from wearing on metal the pistons slide up and down in the cylinders and they float on a nice pillow of soft fresh oil okay keeps it clean keeps it cool and uh, keeps it moving nice any okay. other questions that's a good question nope. that wasn't even prompted good job <laughs> anything else nope nope that's it <laughs> yeah. all right time for a father-daughter ride high five seat belts all right, guys, what we're going to do next, we're just going to put the old oil from this into the used jug, get rid of our oil. We'll dispose of it at the shop. This way uh, we save the environment. Yay, the oil's going to the shop. And uh, wipe up real good. We're going to label <laughs> our next oil change with these fancy next service stickers. I'll leave a link in the description to this too. Hey, Mayor Bear. And uh, then we'll know when we can change our oil next. And that's going to do it. A little cleanup, a little labeling. And we'll see you guys on the uh, next project. So like and subscribe. Hit the bell button. That's right. What else? 
Uh, <laughs> click the uh, notification button. There you go. Notification bell. What else? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next project. Bye. Peace. Peace. All right, Evie, do you know how to write 216,500 miles? No. <laughs> <laughs> Two, one, six. Hold on, I see it, I see it. Two, one, six. Comma, five, zero, zero. Five, zero, zero. There we go. Good job. <laughs> Hello! Peace! <laughs> Say peace! 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 Wait, what's today's date?